Skilled Nursing Provider awards $36,000 to employees in an essay contest, and workplace violence prevention bill could cost providers a pretty penny. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A Midwestern skilled nursing provider has put its money where its mouth is to celebrate a handful of employees and their writing skills. Villa Healthcare, based in Skokie, Illinois, awarded more than $36,000 to six employees who won its why Villa essay contest. The competition challenged employees to share why they chose to work for the company and what their work means to them. Villa has 34 skilled nursing facilities located in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, and Ohio. It also has more than 4,300 employees and 3,800 residents and patients. This is the second year the company held the essay competition, which featured five categories based on employee tenure hundreds of employees participated in the competition. The exact number of the entries was unknown. A proposed federal bill aimed at protecting healthcare employees from violence at work receives an update on an estimated cost. The Congressional Budget Office released a cost estimate report last Wednesday on the Workplace Violence Prevention for Healthcare and Social Service Workers Act, H.R. 1309. The CBO projected the proposal would cost private facilities at least $2.7 billion to comply within the first two years and $1.3 billion annually thereafter. Meanwhile, it would cost at least $100 million in the first two years for public facilities to comply and $55 million annually thereafter, the report author said. The legislation would require the Secretary of Labor to issue a final rule requiring health care and social services employers to develop and implement a comprehensive plan for protecting workers and other personnel from workplace violence. If the bill is passed, skilled nursing facilities and hospitals would be required to comply with it as a condition of partaking in the Medicare program. Requirements would include providing annual staff training, investigating violent incidents, developing work violence prevention plans, maintaining and retaining records for at least five years, and reporting and evaluating information. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.